Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be planning out the week of Monday, June 14th through Sunday, June 20th in my hourly plum paper planner. And I'm super excited about this week because I'm going to be planning out the week using this super beautiful kit from Life and Envelopes. This is the Pretty Peonies kit. And also Jennifer, who is the owner of the shop, has an awesome YouTube channel as well. One of my favorites actually. So check it out. I'll include a link in the description box below as well as a link to her shop. And if you like this kit, check out her Etsy shop because we have an awesome discount code for you as well. I'll put that on the screen here. So what I have here is I purchased the full kit and then also I have the days of the week with the date dot stickers as well. So what I think is really cool about this kit and how Jennifer does her stickers is you can purchase the whole kit, which is what I did, or you can purchase a la carte, which I think is awesome. I love when sticker shops do that because sometimes there are just a couple sheets I want and other times I want the whole thing without having to individually add everything to cart. So I really, really enjoy that when you have the option to do either. And I'm also super, super pumped to be showing you these stickers as well. So these are from a brand new sticker shop called So What's the Plan over on Etsy. My friend Nicole just launched this shop and actually it is going to be available on Tuesday the 15th, I believe. So again, check it out on the 15th. These are so beautiful. But these are the hand-drawn script stickers that she created. And this one is Film Edit Upload YouTube. We've got goals. And this one I'm loving, golf, hockey, and golf and hockey just repeat. That feels like my life, right? Golf and hockey on repeat. Meeting stickers and then training. You know I'll use a lot of those. So thank you so much, Nicole. Please check out her shop on Etsy. Like I said, brand new on the 15th. I'll include the discount code that she provided me as well up on the screen here. So check it out. Do you see what I did there? So check it out. All right, I'm a nerd. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm not usually a thick washi girl, but I just have to use this. I can't decide which one I want to use the bottom, but I need this in my life. They're both so pretty and I'm honestly having a little bit of a conflict trying to decide which one I want to use. We also have this washi sheet as well. I'm definitely going to be using this in different planner spreads because there's no way I can use it all in one week. And I know that I'm going to want to use it because it is just so beautiful. So I think I'm going to use this one and I'm going to pair it with the lighter this lighter strip here at the top. Hopefully that will fit. So we're gonna give that a shot. And I think this kit is specifically designed for the Erin Condren 7x9, but we're gonna give it a shot in the plum here and see how we do. As I'm putting on this washi, I'm realizing that I didn't show you how last week turned out. I usually like to do that. So let me know in the comments below if you like seeing what last week turned out like after the pen or if it's not your jam and you think it's boring because, you know, I don't know. Sometimes it's nice to see it. Sometimes it's like, just get on with the planning. Okay, I think that is looking really, really pretty. I'm so excited to see what it looks like with the washi up top as well. All right, 
right, so I've got all of the edges set up in the week. I'm really loving how this looks. It looks like my plum paper just turned into a botanical garden. It is so pretty. So I'm next going to go in and I put a bunch of script stickers onto the appointment labels or corner boxes, I guess I'd be in this case. So I'm gonna go and start putting in some trainings and meetings and things that I have. I really was conflicted about how I wanted to set this up this week, just because um, I have a bunch of trainings that last pretty much all day. And so I just like to mark the start times of my trainings, but I was trying to decide if I wanted to make it more decorative with full boxes and um, go in with, you know, basically just mark it as all day training. But I think I'm gonna just still mark those start times because that generally works for me. And, and we will proceed with that. That looks really cute. So Monday is 10 o'clock and two o'clock. And just to make it easy on myself, I actually have a meeting at 10 o'clock and two o'clock on Wednesday. So I'm gonna put those in next. And the boys have their summer hockey program that starts this week. And it's a lot of um, sporadic times and I haven't decided if I wanna to try to put that in my planner or not. Um, I think I'm leaning towards not just because I think it's gonna make it look messy and I know when they're going to be there. So I don't know that I need it to be in my planner. Um, we're trying to get some help, someone like kind of like a babysitter to help take them because Wesley can't drive on his own yet. He has his permit so he can drive with an adult. So we still need someone else to drive them because they're going kind of like through odd hours of the workday. And so, yeah, we'll just have to kind of see how that transpires. But I don't know that I want to put it in the planner yet. I'm just not quite ready to do that. So I think we'll leave it this way this week. And then if I'm finding that it's like messing me up to not have their schedule in here next week, then maybe I'll add it in next week. That's weird how that worked out straight across. That like never happens for me. I think I also have a meeting, yeah, at nine o'clock on Wednesday though. So my perfect little kind of lineup streak there is ending. And this is pretty rare for me, but actually Thursday is a project day for me where I don't have any trainings. I'm just going to work on a few projects and get those done. So I'm gonna use one of these larger boxes. Gosh, it's so pretty. Almost don't wanna write on it. Project day. I'm gonna add in this little um, Sweet Ava's paper sticker. Actually, they're not called Sweet Ava's paper anymore. I forget what the new shop name is, but I've only got a few of these little kittens left, so we're gonna pop that in there first. And actually, I don't know if I'm gonna go or not yet. I haven't decided, but I have a physical therapy appointment that I usually would do over lunch, but I haven't gone since I have my surgery, and I don't know if I'll be feeling up to it or not by then. So I'm going to write it in, but I don't know if I'll be going. Basically, um, he has me do a bunch of exercises. They're not strenuous, but just, I don't know if I'm even up to doing even that yet. So I'm going to put it in, but knowing that that might get, might get moved. And then for Friday, I do also have, it's an all day training, but I don't, know how I'm going to mark it in here. I guess I'm just going to block everything. It's from 7 to like 3.30. It's literally training with um, with the same individuals all day. So I think I'm going to use extra, extra full boxes here to mark that. Okay, this is looking pretty good. One thing I don't want to forget to mark down is we are expecting a new niece or nephew on Wednesday. So I'm just going to uh, make a sticker for that as well. Okay, so other things that are going on is that Sunday is Father's Day. And then also we're having a barbecue with friends on Sunday as well. Okay, and then Loon also has a golf tournament on Saturday. And then on Saturday afternoon, I'm hoping we can um, interview someone to drive the boys, like I mentioned before. So someone to drive the boys to their, um, to their hockey program. So I'm gonna mark that 
in the afternoon. I have been chatting with someone on care.com and I think she can come over in the afternoon, probably two or three, I'm hoping on Saturday, at least hope so. Waiting to hear back from her. And also Loon has hockey on Monday night. I don't think he has, I don't know. I thought he had golf this week as well, but it doesn't have it on the calendar. So we're gonna assume not for now. It is nice to know um, when he's having his hobbies as well though. Since I've got some extra space, I'm gonna go in with a couple of these laundry stickers from Rainy Creek Designs. I think this pink and green here are gonna go really well. I usually like to do laundry on Thursdays. Yeah. And Sundays. Since I've got so many boxes left, which is pretty great, I'm going to write in a couple more things like I want to do my meal planning on Saturday. And then do grocery shopping on Sunday. Well, I guess, yeah, put in the order. And I also want to try to keep up with my filming on Saturday. I'm actually a little ahead this week, which is not normal for me, but um, we're gonna take it because I had planned to do it Saturday. So it's Friday today, but next week I'm gonna try to do filming on Saturday here. And I think that looks like it's looking pretty good here. All right, I think that brings us to just about it. The only sticker I didn't mention yet is this one and this one. So both of these quotes are from Alexandra Nicole Plans. Loving these so much. And right now with where I am in recovery from the surgery, it really does feel like it's one day at a time, one hour at a time, one minute. And I love this when it says um, it's okay to fall apart sometimes. Tacos do and we still love them. So we even have tacos for Tuesday. So I think it's going to be perfect. So I am really looking forward to working through this week. I've still got plenty of white space open for my check boxes and things that I like to add in as I go, but this is super beautiful. It really does look like a garden sprung up in my planner. I am loving it. I think this is my second week in a row in this planner in florals, but I'm not mad about it. I'm kind of enjoying it. So we're just going to keep the flower power going here into next week. I hope you're having a wonderful week wherever you are and we will chat soon. Bye guys.